and then one. And we'll be in the Schedule 80 pipe somewhere between here and where it goes in the building. So we're replacing the whole section because that sweeps the construction. All right, uh, well, we have our closed loop off today for some underground pipe repair. Um, I'm going to work on something uh, I haven't been able to isolate without the whole system off. Kind of foolishly designed. You see these, I have isolation valves for the tank here. So, in theory, you can work on the pumps or whatever you need to do. Um, but what I don't like is that there's a, a rubber gasket right here that could leak with no way to isolate it. So I have a box full of parts here, and this is a steel pipe, and this is copper pipe, of course, so um, a dielectric union is necessary, some form, some form of that is necessary here. But in this case, I'm going to like the six inches of brass method here, to, uh, so I can put a brass nipple and a valve, and then a union, and then a copper pipe. And we'll achieve the same thing except we'll have a valve that's able to isolate this whole this whole line set here so we can work on it. We'll do the same thing here. So uh, the way this works, I'm sure a lot of people watching know, but uh, it's a chemical feed tank for the closed loop. It's how you treat the water in the closed loop. And can't, you know, I can't really see it anymore, but it's purple water coming out of there earlier. Or purple. This chemical is anyways. Um, so this is the discharge of the pump, so this is your higher pressure. It goes down to the bottom of the tank. The tank gets filled, isolated and filled with chemical. And then um, you open, open this valve. Uh, ideally, I think we'll put a way to purge the air in here too. I don't, I don't see why or not. Makes sense. Um, higher pressure goes in. This is the pump suction. So this is going to be a lower pressure, so naturally, if both these valves are open, the water is going to go through the, suck through the tank, so, so the chemical gets sucked, gets forced into the closed loop. So, um, a little dog down draining now. Actually, I took this one apart, and there was still no pressure, and this one still got a little bit. But um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll plumb that up, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I bet you it'll look a lot nicer. This is uh, kind of sloppy. We'll put a nice, nice hose bib on there for him too. There we go. That's a little nicer.